Still in shock, Benny LaRue woke up this morning without his 15-month-old son beside him. The pain is too much for this father to bear after his child was mauled by the neighbor's pit bull terror while playing at their house. He was at work when he received a phone call, all father's dread. And to the people who phoned me and told me your kid is by the hospital, the dog was biting him. Do I drive the buggy to the hospital to see what's going on? Do I come that side and I just told the people my kid is dead already? And so on. But he was a good boy. I was left for him. He was sleeping at night by me. And so on. And, it, and I save him up his money and so on. I buy him a car, a big car. Now he's gone. The towel which the toddler was sitting on lies abandoned in Nolin Furi's yard. She has piled the little boy's toys up, trying to tidy up. But nothing can erase the horror of her normally playful dog turning on the child he loves and attacking him. I feel extremely bad what happened yesterday. I feel it's my fault, but I mean, they, it's not the first time that the child has been here. It's like the tenth time he often comes in. But when he touches, he wants to touch the dog, the dog runs away. The child died on the way to the hospital. The SPCA was called shortly afterwards and arrived to remove the dog for the safety of the people in the neighborhood. We, we responded to obviously to the incident where a 15-month-old baby was killed by a pit bull. We intervened for the safety of the animal last night. The dog is currently at the SPCA. We have since spoken with the South African Police Service who's investigating the matter and um, we have to do rabies tests on the dog to rule out the fact that the dog may have picked up rabies. There has been a spate of pit bulls attacks in the country and the NSPCA says pit bulls are being surrendered in large numbers to their centres. The organization is calling on the government to intervene urgently before more people and dogs are harmed at even a larger scale. From Pumagapa TV News, Tombozuko Palintulo, Kunubi Farm in East London.